Good morning and good evening to everyone. First of all, I want to thank you for joining this webinar. Uh, my name is Andrea Mendini. I'm a product specialist from uh, GEMAX uh, support and training team. And this is my colleague, Romy Gok, uh, our uh, product manager for uh, the XPAN product. Good morning, everybody. Are you looking for a desktop software to manage and combine and process geospatial data from different sensors? Then you are at the right place here. Um, there are multiple products available in the market today at different price categories. And uh, we would like to introduce to you a powerful soft software module from Geomax, the Expert Fusion Pro. It comes with basic features for an easy start into data management, and this actually at no cost. And this will be our agenda for today. We will start with a short introduction into Fusion uh, itself, our desktop office software. Then we will give an overview on the modules. Um, we will also show you how to get Expert Fusion Pro and Andrea will give you then some insights on the strength of Expert Fusion Pro. And at the end, we would like to advise where you can find additional material around Expert Fusion. But let's start with Expert Fusion itself. It's actually one software platform that allows you to manage any geospatial data from multiple sensors. It's based on the 3D CAD, which allows to edit and modify the data. It includes a wide range of tools and functionalities designed for surveyors and uh, professionals in construction as well. It's very intuitive and the interface is user guided. Uh, as we are also very close to our customers, um, we also consider uh, a lot the local needs, which you can also recognize in the software itself. Expert Office Fusion is also part of a whole Expert ecosystem, but I will come to that later. What makes Expert Fusion special is the direct integration of multiple sensors. It allows you to directly integrate the GNSS solution, the TPS products, uh, the digital levels, and also our Zoom 3D, 3D measuring solution for indoor and outdoor application. It also supports the direct integration of BLK360 and of course our field software expert ultimate. Okay, let me add also some other uh, option that we have. For example, we can uh, import uh, multi-formats data like field format and topographic, topographic data format. So 2D and 3D data, just for example, using also the classical drawing format, but we can import also the 3D format as the OBJ file for the surfaces and for the mesh. Then also the point cloud data generated from uh, other laser scanning, but also from uh, uh, photogrammic terrestrial and aerial photogrammic. And of course, we can integrate all this data also with the uh, EFC file, so the classical uh, BIM model just to give you an overview. So as said before, we also have a field software solution called Expert Ultimate. One is called Survey, which is dedicated for surveyors and one is called Expert Ultimate Build, dedicated for the construction professionals. Uh, this solution allows us to do the data collection, measurement and stake out, but also checks in the field and take this data and directly import them into our expert office fusion solution, where you can run calculations, analysis, do S-build checks, do designs, or even do the layout preparation, which is later used again in the field. In our software workflow, we are also supporting several uh, third-party software solutions. And this is the overview on the modules we are actually offering with our Expert Office Fusion solution. Of course, Expert Fusion Pro, to which we will come in a minute. And then, of course, the XTOPO module, which allows you to perform topographic applications and also include a CAT. 
This module can be extended by the BIM Connect to load and manage IFC files, to extract uh, elements for stakeout, but also do a as-built data check with field measurements. We also offer a module to register and process point clouds. Um, you can analyze and do feature extraction from data clouds and also have the CAT included here. This module can also be extended with the automatic alignment module, and this allows the automatic registration without targets. And there's another module, which we will actually explain in two weeks in our uh, webinar. It allows to process terrestrial and drone images with the possibility to produce output. But now let's focus on XPET Fusion Pro. As mentioned at the beginning, it is free of charge. It includes uh, the job management and data management, raw data import from TPS, GNSS, digital levels, also our XPET field software, and scanners and uh, different other sensors available. You have a data viewer included and you can import and export in multiple formats. But there's also the possibility to exchange DXF files. To learn more about our XPET Fusion modules, you have the chance to download um, the 30 days evaluation license for XPET Fusion. This will include the XTOPO BIM, XScan and XPhoto modules, and you can run and try any features in it for 30 days. And after the expiration, the XPET Fusion Pro is still active. So you just need to go actually on our website, submit the 30 days evaluation license directly from, from there. You just need to fill out the form and you will receive an email that actually includes your license key, the installation file, but also the guide. And now I would like to hand over to Andrea Beck, who will give you some details on Fusion Pro itself. Thanks, Romy. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, I will upload right now on the output menu, uh, the output menu of the GoToWebinar also the, this presentation. So you will have the possibility to review all these things uh, also in the second time, but also the strengths of the XPAR Office Fusion Pro version. So here you have uh, just uh, a review about the, all this functionality. But now we will see directly on uh, our software. So as we already say from the XPAR Office Fusion in the Pro version, but also in the other version, we have the possibility to import the data from different sets on, and from different uh, format file, like for example, you need only to change the brand that you need, select the corresponding data format, and then import the data. Not only for the survey data, but also for the point class data, like for example, the classical point class data, also with the last format. Not only import, but also transfer data. So it means that we can import the data from digital levels, from Leica and from GMAX, but also connect our GP, our TPS by Bluetooth or cable connection. Just to give you an example, we can enter our model and then select the connection type. Okay, we can select, of course, the brand and then the model for the connection. We have also the possibility to connect laser scanner like for example, Zoom 300 for GMAX or BLK360 and import directly, transfer directly the data. So at the same time, we have all the information on the same platform and we have different way also to visualize the data. Like for example, change it in observation mode. We can zoom in inside the scene, change the working mode to visualize different data at the same time. Like for example, the elevation or the point name or oh, we can also customize the label with different information. 
like for example name, elevation, code, and description. In few seconds, we can refresh the visualization and overlap also this data in the same graphic view. We have also dedicated view uh, visualization. One of these is the second viewport. From the second view, we got here two different graphic view, completely independent each other, and we have the possibility to also visualize the data from different point of view. We have also some tools to check the data, like for example, the info functionality from the home menu to check uh, the ID point, uh, but also some other tools uh, to check, for example, distances or area. With the option also to visualize it in 2D or in 3D, or also store the annotation if you want to uh, also to create uh, the, the label, to visualize the label on the graphic view. This is just an example how we can check the, the area. We can select uh, some points, right click on the mouse. We have also some other tools uh, to complete the selection. And here we have also the report uh, from uh, the area measurement. If you want to store the notation, we have also the possibility to recheck the area, select again some points, or the, of course the points you need, And then, even if we close the windows, we already have the area selection. We have a special uh, project visualization. From the project manager, we can uh, visualize all the different uh, projects that we can import, but also we have the possibility to check the data using the, the filters. Like, for example, we can switch on and switch off the TPS station and TPS point just to visualize also the genesis point, so the green point from the graphic view, or to change also the other filters according to the different uh, entities uh, that you can select uh, from the filters uh, managing. We have also the possibility to directly manage also the layers uh, from XPAD Office Fusion, and from the layers manager, of course, we can enter new, new layers, select the different colors and the different line type. In that case, we can use the, the entire color palette of the uh, Autodesk software. We use the same uh, color palette. And then we can also uh, import some other line type. We can, of course, manage also the survey code directly from uh, uh, survey code menu. In that case, we we have some code library already used on other projects. We can import uh, uh, the code library using the ASCII file and the XML file, but also from our field software. And here, for example, we, can, we have also the possibility to manage the survey code. Of course, entering new code, description, creating new layer, and of course, the entire color palette. Now we can transfer all this code, like for example, in the current project. And then we have the possibility to manage it from the survey topography point menu. So again, from project manager, survey menu, points table and measurement table. So from points table, we have the possibility to check all the topography point uh, with a name, code, uh, S, not Z coordinate, or also the description. If we import also the photos uh, linked to the point, we have also the possibility to visualize it, or we can customize the visualization, like for example, enter the latitude, longitude, and height information. So from the topography point menu, we have also the possibility to uh, visualize the point type, like for example, the base, the genesis measurement, uh, but also the TPS point that we import with a different uh, measurement type, uh, like for example, a, a point measured with prism or point measured with an offset station or point measured with a reflectorless mode. 
So you can visualize and check all the data directly from the points table. If you enter new point, of course, you will, you will find uh, another uh, icon directly linked to your point. Of course, you can customize the point and enter also new point, uh, entering the, directly the coordinates. Now we can move to the measurement table. Here you can uh, find uh, the entire uh, field book uh, of the measurement uh, with the information about the receiver or about the TPS, the information about date and time, uh, also all the single information about the point measured, but also you can uh, customize the visualization from Genesis point uh, and check uh, also the, for example, the, the base name, the, the point name, but also the quality of the quality of the point measured directly in field. In that case, we import uh, a survey file directly from the XPAD Ultimate. So we have all this information uh, automatically on the XPAD Office Vision software, but you can also import this, uh, this kind of point uh, directly from the using the different formats. Here, for example, we are TPS measurement. We can check also the, the, the targets. And if you want to recalculate also the point, like for example, we can enter a new rover height, we can edit all the cell at the same time. Like for example, we can enter 1.8 meter, apply. And of course, in that case, you need to recalculate the survey. You can move to project manager and click on the, the corresponding icon or from survey, calculate and directly calculate all the survey calculation. In that case, uh, we have some limitation uh, because we, from the X Pro module, we cannot uh, uh, use the advanced uh, calculation, but of course, we can calculate the, the basic for uh, TPS and Genesis survey. Again, here from the points table, we can also create the export in PDF, XLS, and CSV formats, but also we can export in different format directly from the XPAD service file or using the WIF format or topographic data format. So we can directly export for, uh, for the field software. Okay. Again, here from the slides, you can visualize also the, all the, the things that we are uh, we are seeing during the presentation. So the, the strengths of the XPAD Fusion Pro version. Uh, just to tell you something more, we have also the possibility to import the point clouds format. Of course, this will be, this kind of file must be already registered because from the XPAD Office Fusion Pro version, we cannot register the point clouds. But then you can also overlap this data and visualize uh, the data overlapped, for example, on the Genesis, EPS, but also the file in case you have also the top version. And from here, we can use uh, all the tools that we already seen, like, for example, checking the area for the windows, checking the area for the facade, and analyze also the other data. Okay, here we have just uh, a resume about the things that we already seen. Uh, let me close this presentation and introduce also what we already have on our uh, GeoMax uh, website. From this link, you will have the access uh, to our uh, website and especially to uh, the data already created from the Inspire Office Fusion Pro. So in that case, we will uh, have directly the link to our video tutorials. We already create some video tutorials uh, according to different topics for the, for the Pro, for the Top, and for also for the uh, last scanning uh, uh, information, better functionality, and you have directly the access here. This is a screenshot of our website from product, software, it's a suite, it's part of its fusion. You can directly move here to download the uh, 30 days evaluation license, like Romy already told you, but we have also the possibility to, to visualize the video tutorials already created. Uh, I would like to close this presentation and give you also some more information. From our website, you have also the possibility to check the upcoming events, but also the past events. So all the webinars that we have did and also the webinars that we have on program directly using these links. Okay, 
If you have some question, you can also write us directly on, on chat, or of course, we will be available also through our email, webinar at geomaximizingpositioning.com. Okay. Just to remind you from the handout menu, you have the possibility to download the PDF of this presentation. We have all the steps and the link that we already seen during the presentation. Okay, at the moment we don't have any questions. Okay, just one question. So after the 30 days, uh, I will still use the software. Uh, yes, as Romy already told you, we have the possibility to use the, the software in the free version also after the, the 30 days. In that case, uh, the, the, the license will uh, directly transform to the X part of this Fusion Pro. So the free version, free, uh, free version for the software using all this functionality that we already seen uh, during this presentation. Just to remind you, with a 30 days license, uh, all the modules are already activated. Uh, so, uh, from the top of up to laser scanning, but also the X photo functionality that we have seen uh, in a few days, uh, in two weeks, uh, for a dedicated uh, webinar for terrestrial photogrammetry. And of course, uh, you have the possibility to uh, investigate in deep on, into the software and all the functionality that we we can use directly from the same uh, software interfaces. Okay, so another question. I would like to thank you again uh, to have joined this presentation. Romy, uh, also from your side, uh, many thanks also to have joined uh, and support us uh, for, uh, for this webinar. Many thanks to you that I couldn't join the webinar. <laughs> okay. So again, we will be available so to our email. Thanks again to have joined this presentation and see you in a few weeks for the next webinar. Yeah. Have a nice day. Thank you. Take care.